Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we leave the beautiful islands we stopped at on our way to Timor Leste and we arrive in true Catalpa style at 3 a.m. in the morning in Dili Harbour. Off we go ashore to check in. Walking to the port, Taj spotted Burger King. So before our official office visits, we thought it'd be smart to fill our bellies. So we've been to immigration, we've been to port um, customs and quarantine. We're just now looking for port control or the harbour master. And we've been told that we uh, need to look for a blue gate. The whole way along here is blue gates. So. Every time we walk in, they keep pointing, oh, no, no, further, further, so. Another blue gate, we'll try this one. Not that one. Blue gate. And all done. We're in. We're in the Dili and we're going to be here a week, approximately. We just got to find the uh, Indonesian embassy another day and get our in Indonesian visas underway. Next stop was Timor Telkom to get SIM cards and internet. Did a small shop and found wine and bought the biggest flask possible. Okay, so it's a really sad day today on Catalpa. One of the Catalpa crew is feeling really ill. Here she is over here. But I changed the oil and uh, noticed that there's a few little bearings that are, were in the oil and she come to a halt. So we don't really have any um, Coultry Technicians, which is the brand of our compressor. So we're gonna try and pull it apart and have a look and see if there's something I can order apart from. And again, ordering in Indonesia is not really that simple, but we'll we're in Timor Leste, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> this is one of our main little friends on Catalpa that we use all the time, so. We gotta get our dive compressor going yeah. again. We cannot not dive. We will see. But what I find interesting is this was our breakfast table. <laughs> it is now Lee's mm, workbench. <laughs> Fabulous, very ingenious, really. <laughs> it's always the workbench. It's probably a workbench, probably more near than more than our, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you haven't had breakfast, this work begins. Too late. <laughs> okay. Now that is going to be our problem. This one. Should actually look at something like that joined on. So we have a broken piston. At least we know what the problem is. Is that no, a good problem switching. to have? I don't know yet, until we find where we can get parts from and all the rest of it. But the problems are good, but some are easier than others. Is this an easy one? Well, I don't know. So there we have it, part one. Uh, I found that our piston here has got a broken, breaking it right there, which holds the bearing. So. Here it is here, it's actually broken away. So I'm going to have to go over everything here and see that there's no other damage from all the fines that have been run through the um, compressor. So stay tuned next time to see if we actually have a dive compressor or we are snorkelers. So Grandma and the kids are going ashore. Uh, Lee is fixing our dive compressor and while well, trying or pulling it apart, doing something, and I'm editing videos. So we're being boring, so the kids and grandma are gonna go ashore and see what they can find. They've just come back. Kids and granny have just come back from a day out. And uh, they bought us sushi. Japanese, something different than Indonesian food. 
I got it. And uh, this six hours we won the Burger King. <laughs> Yeah. There's a treat. So how is the yeah. shops? Is it different to Indonesia or? Yeah. 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 There's more, so there's like everything. Sort of. Mm. Oh, there was like a big tuna in just hanging out of the freezer. A full, in glad wrap. a full fish. Full fish in glad wrap in the, in the freezer. In the shopping, in the... In the shopping centre. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, saw a couple of supermarkets. They still have lots of little Only one stalls and... Yeah. shops sort of thing yeah but yeah we didn't find a good hardware like fans we haven't found that yeah. we found a general store that has like lots of oh, uh, priority list did you walk I... around looking for fans all day we did <laughs> <laughs> we even went into an aircon mommy's shop. a little hot <laughs> on the bite <laughs> so Lee's changing the oil on a water maker today so what are you doing honey Yep. Changing it out. Changing it out on the carpet. Then. Every three months or 250 hours. Seems a little bit excessive, but I'm not going to risk any problems with the uh, water maker. No. <laughs> Is that what you do? Risk problems with everything else? Uh, I try not to. Alright, so it's maintenance day on Catalpa. Um, all the guys are going ashore. I just a bit easier with you know one person on the boat as opposed to five. I've got the oil filter down here, which should just be hand tight. Get our new filter. I ordered a whole heap of Perkins genuine filters before we left, so just a little bit of oil around the O-ring. So I try and do this about every 200 hours. Um, hopefully, prolong the life of it a little bit more. So I'm just changing out um, the fuel filters too. In this service, I've got a um, secondary one here, and I've got the primary one here. But this is 26 of the 12, 17, so it's, it's not that old. And you can just see the sludge in the fuel here. That's the first filter and it's just and i've actually run that through our um, filter too that we filter all our diesel with and it's still it's just so dirty the fuel here so if you do come to indonesia i would suggest having a lot of filters have it I've run out of time trips are home we're back floor's still up boat's a mess front to back hatch is all open but we have service the water maker the generator the gearbox the engine oils oil filters fuel filters first and second tweak this and that and a few little things and uh, that's it my day's done. Okay, so today um, we've just been, we've washed everything on the boat and had a mad clean. Lee's done a lot of fixing of things. What did you do? He's not going to talk. He's not boat's, there. The He's not in, there. <laughs> the boat's in bits at the moment. Yeah, so everything's been pulled apart. But um, we've got a beautiful friend that works in Timor Leste, where we are. She's not in Dili at the moment, but she's in other parts. But she's introduced us through Facebook. I haven't met these people, but we've introduced uh, to a family that lives here in Dilly on a yacht. And um, I asked a massive favor this morning. I haven't met these people, but we've just been talking on Facebook. And um, yeah, so her husband flies back into Dilly on Saturday morning from Australia. So I thought I'd just put it out there. And I said, no pressure, no, you know, say no if you need to, but I just said, um, do you reckon your husband could bring a generator from Australia for us <laughs> with excess luggage? So the reason why is we found one and we organised one to be shipped here. Got a quote and it was going to cost uh, a bit over $1,500 just for shipping. So it would have cost us nearly three and a, three and a bit thousand dollars to get our generator that cost $2,000. So three and a half thousand to cost, yeah. 
anyway, it was going to be very, very expensive, so we were going to pass on that. But I thought I would throw that out there to them, and they are very, very kindly said that it's okay. So um, we're trying to madly organise everything now from here. Um, Shawnee is on the phone to my dad, who's. <laughs> I sent emails saying, quick, find out if the airline can take the generator, what's its weight, where are we picking it up, who can we get to drop it at the airport at 4am in the morning. <laughs> we'll work it out. <laughs> so there's a lot going on in Qatar for today and there's fingers crossed we could have a new generator um, by Saturday. So uh, I also just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who donated to um, or contributed to our generator. We have come very, very close at getting the entire amount for our generator, which is insanely unbelievable, and we're just so grateful, and thank you to everyone. Whether it was not much money at all, it all added up, and some people donated a fair amount. So we are so grateful for all of you, and we love you, and yeah, it's actually happening. We're getting a new generator. So we now have a new starter motor and nearly a new generator. <laughs> so two problems down, <laughs> hopefully. Fingers crossed. So we washed these cushions which haven't been washed for a very, very long time. They were very disgusting. But we have a washing machine now so it was uh, something we'd been meaning to do. The water that came off them was feral. But everything on Catalpa is very clean. We've had a very big clean today. Washed everything that we own. So you know what's real hard? What's real hard is to stay positive all the time. So we thought we had a win, we thought we were getting a new generator, everything was working and going along smoothly and um, our inverter looks like it's stuffed. Lee's just opening it now to check, hopefully it's a blown fuse but if it's not, um, it's broken. Which means I can't charge my computer, which means I can't make movies, which means it's very hard to stay positive today but it's testing, it's very testing. That looks mighty complicated there, Captain. Well, it's not the fuse. So, it's not looking good. Great. Fantastic. It's not the fuse. So hot, it's like about the storm. Oh, I've had enough of today. So, today we've had better days. And oh. today, this is our answer. What do you got there, honey? Oh, it's five litres of the best. <laughs> we found of... red wine. And two more last day. Bit of a. Uh... I've just made a complete mess yeah, in the kitchen I'm making dinner. Not a bar, mate. Oh, it's not for me. Cheers, baby. Cheers, baby. To a better day tomorrow. Has to be better. Has to be. Can't get any worse. We did have a little bit of good news, which is not totally full yet. Yeah. Shawnee's on the phone to someone that can yeah. maybe pick up the generator for us. Because he's flying in. Cool. He's flying in this from Melbourne. Exciting. And then he'll be transferring his bags off. I'll send you messages with full details. Um, we will... Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, I am, in, I am enjoying it. I... Oh, uh, not... So what's what? just happened, Sean? <laughs> Apart from choking. Mm. Hang on. <laughs> so, with this whole generator palaver, We've worked out where we can get the generator from, so Lee's made contact with them, and the big drama was that we have to pick it up during business hours Friday and then get it to the airport between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. So what's today? Thursday. Okay. So Friday it's got to be picked up, and then that night, between 2 and 5, somebody has to drop it to the airport and we're like, okay, who do I know in Darwin? Who, uh, how can we do this? And then I thought of lovely Jeff and Hannah who well and really appreciate the fact that, you know, they're helping here and they've been sailing themselves lots so they understand the importance of this, I think. So it's good. It's, it's awesome. And in true form, this is Waterworks. 
is crying. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just today kind of sucked a little bit, so it's nice to have something positive at the end of the day. And we're so so grateful. I don't know you guys, but we are so grateful <laughs> for you and for you helping. And um, yeah, it's gonna make such a difference for us. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. So join us next time on Sailing Catalpa as we have a boat drag anchor and head straight for us. It's a bit rough outside and a boat that's on a mooring way away, it was, I don't know where it was, it was pretty far away, uh, is now drifting and he's really close to us. He was only about two minutes. Plus, finally, our generator arrives. So that was episode 90. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed. So we are back in Indonesia. If you would like to see what we get up to in more in real time or get regular updates, you can either become a patron, the link is down below, or we also regularly update on our Instagram page, which is at Sailing Catalpa and our Facebook page. So you can find us over there and um, go and follow us if you like. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel guys, please feel free to press the subscribe button and um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. We hope you have a beautiful day and we'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. It all comes all thanks to you all. Thanks to y'all